Hey guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. I'm home today in my yard. There's my workshop. Very messy in front of it. This video is going to be a just an update on where my workshop's at and a bit of an introduction to a future project. Okay, let's go and have a closer look inside and I'll show you what I've been up to and we'll talk about all this stuff out here in a minute. So I don't spend as much time in my shed as I'd like to and I'm still trying to get it set up and I say that every time I do a video on it but here's a basic update of the shed uh, it's still pretty cluttered there's actually quite a lot of stuff in here that came from a big radio shed clean out that I've still got to process uh, this first section is actually this is the old kitchen out of our house when we first bought the house we ripped out the old kitchen and uh, it made great cupboards and bench space for in the shed here and this area is more Christine's area it's uh, just a bit of gardening stuff uh, she keeps uh, seeds and vegetable bits and pieces and she's got a few projects here. There's a lot of plumbing um, Irrigation stuff here as well So you've got a lot of seeds here in old film containers. It keeps the mice out of them It's a good way to store seeds and up in the top cupboards here uh, Affectionately known as the cupboards of death. We don't like using a lot of chemicals, but where the ones we do have Obviously want to keep them out of reach of the grandkids and the dog so this is the first part of the shed and then we wander through to the main section where I, you'll see I do a lot of videos in this section and it looks terribly messy at the moment, probably because it is. Um, I've got projects ahead of me. I've still got to set up some shelving and some uh, basic workshop areas. Uh, I use this table in the middle a lot. It's really handy. I need somewhere to, to get this Triton work center set up to do a bit of woodwork. I have cleaned out over here and that's the fire that came out of our shed and it's quite nice out here in a winter's day or a winter's evening uh, you may see have seen a video I did when I put that window in I'll link that up the top now the shed used to have old louver windows which were terribly drafty so that's much better there I have rebuilt all this workbench here but it's just had a lot of stuff piled on top and most of you know how workshops can get out of control if you don't spend a lot of time in them so I do need to get a latch sorted out these shelf units up the top actually came out of the house as well they were in the kitchen and I have lined all this section uh, when we first moved here the shed was empty and it was basically just the framework uh, so I've had the insulation put in the uh, in the ceiling underneath the tin it's just a flat roof but uh, I used to have troubles when we'd have a frosty morning is in that condensation would drip off all the rafters. Oops, sorry about the strobes there. And you can even see how the, the rafters have stained from years and years of water dripping off them. And everything used to get wet in here. So that's been fixed now. Uh, and it's becoming a bit more cosy, more insulated. I've actually lined around the window as well. And down the end there, I'm just using a lot of secondhand plywood and whatnot. So I've got some more fixing up to do in there and eventually I'll line the back room as well and have it all insulated so let's move into my little room which I sometimes call the operating theatre and this is coming along quite well and I do spend quite a lot of time out here I can close the sliding door which I do every time I'm not home otherwise Coco will get in there and find things to chew um, and also I think I have a stray possum living in this shed I think he lives in that wall over there. So obviously I don't want possums or other animals in this workshop. So I've got some carpet down now, which makes it a bit more cozy. And all the benches were set up quite a while ago and it's got quite cluttered as well. I've had a few projects in here. I do a lot of filming in here and it's good. And I've got to say, having all the mess in here, all the clutter on the shelves, actually really helps with the acoustics it used to be really echoey in here and now i've filled it up with stuff it's not so bad and that's why that big insulation pack there and there's another one there i had them propped up here when i was doing a video a while back and uh, it just helps with the acoustics um so lots of projects in here there's uh, nothing else to do in this room as far as setting up goes i'm pretty happy with it uh, i do need to perhaps organize my storage systems a bit better uh, but I have I've still left the radio going but I do have um, a pretty good setup for repairing stuff in here now and I'm still gathering tools and whatnot that I need anyway it's a great little room it's a effective 
sorry, affectionately known as my little man cave. And Christine has her sewing room as well. So sometimes we both go off to our respective caves and everything is happy in the world. Uh, I've got a clock ticking away on the bench here, which has been a recent repair project and that's been running really nicely. And it's nice to have a workbench that's totally undisturbed so that when I close the door and I don't get back for a week, everything's exactly as I've left it. Uh, I think a lot of us know the frustration of not having somewhere to take something apart and spread the parts out and leave them undisturbed. Anyway, that's what my workshop's up to at the moment. I'll do a walk around every so often and hopefully it will look cleaner. But this video is also serving as an introduction to a big project I'm going to undertake and it will take a long time to do. What I've got here on the front part of this old shed is a concrete slab which I think would have been poured the same time as the original shed was poured and I think it actually might have been an extension and it kind of either got pulled down or it didn't actually eventuate and I'm going to extend my shed. So I'm going to class it as repairs, seeing so there was kind of a shed there. And that way we don't have to worry about any issues with actually building a new building. Uh, let's walk around the back here. There's a lot of timber stacked there and I'll obviously have to clean that all up before I commence construction. There is a round near my wood pile here. There is a large old homemade truss and it's almost the length of the shed and I think that was probably originally set up on this concrete slab and that's where I'm going to put it back. So I'm going to try and build this using all, well, using as much secondhand material as I can. I probably will have to buy some longer lengths of timber for the framework but I'm going to try and gradually put this together myself uh, we have tried to get some builders to come and have a look and no one seems interested so I'm going to build it myself I'll film the progress I'll try and use as much secondhand material as I can and eventually it will expand the room I've got to work in and whether I make this side the woodwork side or whether I bring an air compressor or a welder out to this side and that frees up the rest of my shed for other projects I'm not sure we'll work that out as we go I do have a big last sliding door somewhere which came off the back of the house originally which I plan on using as the entrance way and I have a second hand window down the back that I'm going to use at the other end so follow the journey um, it might be quite a few months between episodes sometimes but I will have a separate playlist on it uh, obviously the first stage is to clean it all up so I'll leave that for this video uh, thanks for watching um, give us any suggestions as you're watching along uh, i'm going to kind of make this up as i go i obviously have to have some way of roof uh, roofing it so that it meets up with that roof there and we don't have any water leaks and i'm going to have to investigate where that possum lives so uh yeah we'll catch you in the next episode bye for now